Next, let's talk about this. So this is a clip taken from the Fire and the Kid subreddit where someone posted kind of mocking the Fire and the Kid um, channel. Sorry, the TFAT K channel. And I want to know, what do you guys think about this stuff? I don't personally give a fuck. Um, I take part in the sub. I'm active on there. I uh, post on it all the time. So, so I visit the sub all the time. I clearly take some stuff on there to talk about here on the stream. But um, I, I am also watching a lot of the, the stuff myself and uploading loads of clips on my fucking streamable, which I've got fucking tons. I need to actually upgrade my account to pro because a lot of my videos are going to get deleted. So I don't you always use clips from the Final Kids subreddit. But when I do, I obviously mention it. But what's your what's your vibe here in um in the chat? What do you guys think? Do you guys think the TFK channel is taking the piss by essentially stealing the content they do on there and reading the comments out as their own words and shit? Like this is kind of interesting. Look at this clip here. He's such a fucking dimwit. The ego is off the charts. It's hilarious. Just imagine hearing a question being asked to someone who is number one in the world in their field and thinking, I should interrupt. People need to hear my opinion first on this. And the funniest part to me is that Brendan sitting next to DC, a champion fighter and UFC commentator, far more qualified to chime in on the topic than a guy who's infamous for getting his head bounced off the canvas and getting bullied online by homeless cats. And even with his credentials, DC knew to sit back and let Mike Tyson answer the question directed at him. Because that's just common sense. If the average person did something this embarrassing, they'd be screaming at themselves the whole drive home. This dude, Brenda, broadcasts it for the world to see and just keeps on trucking. Papa really just fucking goes. Uh, technically wise, Fury can go. He. So, what guys in the chat? Um, yeah, big up Jared Mellerick. So I didn't see you there, brother. Big up, big up, big up. Uh, Jesse says, allegedly, the guy behind the channel is a pedo. <laughs> what? How did you find that out? How do you even know who he is? He doesn't show his face. He doesn't come on live. When he doesn't speak. Does he? I don't know. Does he speak outside of the, 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 the stuff he does? How do you even know who the fuck he is? The internet is fucking amazing. Number one, knowing who the guy is that doesn't want to show his face. And then also knowing that he might be a pedo is fucking wild. But that's a really strange turn. <laughs> He's a pedo. Um, Teju, Teju, Teju saying yes, I guess to the him being whatever. Jared Meadows said, I don't know. I'm a mod on the chat, T Fat K. Okay, so you can't be impartial. Fair enough, Jared Melerick. Andrew W saying the narrator's a problem and must be stopped. Um, Wolfgang Rittner saying, you are right about everything, AZ. I apologize for being sometimes skeptical. Okay, no worries, my friend. Um, J Dark Web J says, Tr source, trust me, bro. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know. Obviously, the fact that he's making money off the posts on there and basically pulling the words that people are saying and just regurgitating it and just using that as a thing is mad. But it makes me think, have you guys seen that channel? I forgot the name of it. But it's a channel that talks about like, it's like a tea channel on youtube it talks about like you know um content creator tea and culture commentating type like so in terms of like drama and whatnot and beefs and what the person does is that they just summarize stuff and they get the opinions of what people are saying on twitter so it basically just in in narrates the tweets so if like um if like what's his name if pewdiepie said something if bruce said something if aiden ross said something I don't know. He would just like say those. He would just read out tweets basically and collage them. Hey, everyone's talking about this issue with this issue. Like here's everyone's tweets on social media and just read it out. What do you think about that? Is that a bit bad to make money off the people's tweets? I don't know. Some people like that content because I look at it more so less from the content creator, more so people that enjoy the content because I know some people don't want to hear me ranting and raving about shit and going on tangents. They'd rather just get the the kind of uh, the headlines, the kind of synopsis, the brief overview of what's going on. This happened here. Brendan said that dumb thing. Callan did that dumb thing. Joe said this. This happened here. Fill in the blanks, and that's it. And kind of going. You just wanna you want it bite sized So maybe that's where T Fat K kind of comes good. But maybe the lack of credit and the lack of giving. Because I know he puts it in the description. These are all coming from the Reddit, but no one's reading the descriptions. It should maybe be him flashing the comments on the screen. Hey, this person said this and you're reading it out. But he obviously doesn't want that and kind of wants it to look stylistically like he's saying it himself. That's a little bit in bad taste 
to be making money off the backs of what people are legitimately saying. <laughs> because the funny bit isn't just the clips. The funny bit is also the comments because the Final Kids subreddit has some of the most funniest people on there. So when they're saying funny stuff and replying and having given their hot takes and shit, that's what's kind of giving the clip color and adding context and kind of, you know, making it funny. So the fact that he's just pulling the comments and parroting it like it's what he's saying is fucking insane <laughs> to me. Why? To be to be honest, and I don't really have any. You know, I I can't really begrudge people for feeling a way about it and maybe wanting to report him and shit because that's kind of a bit wild to be fair. You know, I feel guilty going on the main page and taking a clip. Do you know what I mean? And kind of playing it on the stream and adding my commentary. But at least I'm doing that. I'm not going through the comments and, oh, let me just wrap it off this good comment that everyone kind of upvoted and use that as my kind of joke and shit. Like, that's fucking wild. <laughs> but I love that like, people are just like going out there with no evidence and just calling the guy a pedo. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> he just can't be calling guys pedos like with no evidence. But the internet is always going to internet, isn't it? <laughs> it's going to go out there just call you a pedo. No evidence whatsoever. Yeah, that guy's a pedo. It's like, yo, guys, chill, 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 chill. Uh, <laughs> yeah.